Hello and welcome to this Uni Taster On Demand event. My name is John Cheek, I'm the founder of Uni Taster Days and we run these events to support students when making university choices. So that you go on, you know, you as a student watching this now, goes on to make brilliant university decisions in the future. So we introduce different subjects so you can just do that. I'm delighted to be joined today by Austin, joining us from the University of Huddersfield, who's going to provide a guide to the subject we're going to be talking about today, and that is product design. Austin is a lecturer in the team at Huddersfield and will provide a guide to what to expect, perhaps some reasons to consider it, and maybe even some application tips and a careers overview as well. Over to you, Austin. Yeah, thank you very much, John, for the introduction, and thank you for inviting me to talk about product design uh, on behalf of, um, well, from my perspective, Huddersfield Design uh, University. Um, so when choosing a degree to study, uh, the choice can be quite overwhelming, um, but whatever you decide to study, um, it's a good idea to consider what you love doing and also what kind of opportunities lie for you um, after you've graduated. And I think that's especially important as well for in product design. Um, so regarding the first point, what do you love doing? Um, at some point in the past, you might have loved building things, maybe playing with Lego, uh, taking things apart. Um, I used to uh, constantly take uh, things uh, uh, apart, unfortunately, <laughs> to my mother's perspective. And um, also doodling ideas in the back of your textbooks when maybe when you should have been working in maths. Um, so if, if so, if, if you love doing any of those things, uh, you probably will love studying product design. Um, as it combines creativity, technical understanding and innovation uh, applied to the real world problems. Regarding the second point, what opportunities lie in wait after you've completed the course? So over the pa uh, past year during the pandemic, it's become important to pick a course that teaches you skills that are relevant to future workplaces. And this uh, table is taken from the uh, Future Jobs Report by the World Economics Forum, and it outlines skills that are needed now and in the near term. And, and as you can see, um, I've highlighted a few of these skills here that are relevant for the future um, outlined in this report. Here, here and they're, they're the ones that essentially that you will learn on product design, which includes complex problem solving, uh, creativity, originality and initiative, reasoning, problem solving and ideation, analyt analytical thinking and innovation and technology design. So moving forwards, what, what would you expect if you actually came to study product design? So in product design, like many other applied arts courses, you will receive mentorship, which supports you in your journey to become the next design um, influencer or the next generation of influential designers. So the learning environment will uh, replicate the real world exercises and projects operating in design industry. Like industry, your work will be project based and assessed on creativity, quality and communication. In year one, um, you'll often learn how to communicate your ideas using industry standards, uh, freehand sketching, um, Photoshop, SolidWorks, to name a few. And also you will learn ideation and creative thinking techniques that will allow you to generate many different ideas. During uh, year two, you will keep developing your visual visualization skills, becoming more an expert in the use of specialized software like SOLIDWORKS and 3ds Max, uh, learning to communicate your ideas in an effective way to industry expectations and standards. We also, um, you're likely to learn possibly how to create animations which communicate how a product looks and works. At Huddersfield Product Design, we um, often do live projects, and this is probably the same for a lot of other universities and colleges across the country, which encourage students to pitch their work to industry. And this is really important because you get a real client feedback as it would happen in the real world. So it's great experience. And at the end of the second year, often you might have an opportunity to take a placement year or an enterprise year. Um, obviously, this is often op optional, but we would recommend that you follow this route as it gives you a great, great grasp of the professional world uh, before continuing your academic profession. Uh, students become part of a professional team during this time and their skills and their mindset improves amazingly and it makes them perform better in their final year. So during the final year, you will basically build your own uh, design brief from start to uh, end, and you will iteratively develop your ideas. 
uh, you, you often apply research and technical know-how using hands-on approach across the design and making process to prove that your designs work and ideas work, bringing them into the world. And you will also explore manufacturing processes and materials to understand the feasibility of your idea in order to build a strong business case. Because at the end, it is also about how feasible and merchantable your ideas are and how, what impact they can have in the world as you graduate. So application tips that I might have if you're going to be applying for a product design course. I think the, the main one for me is contact. Contact the university before applying. Go to um, basically any, any open days that you might find, you see online, whether it is online or actually hopefully in person soon. Um, and then talk to the students that go to that university. Talk to the lecturers and the staff at the university. And that will give you a great insight into the culture and also the kind of approach that they might take. Because each product design course also have its unique aspects and vein within the, um, the actual the remit of the course and the approach so it's good to learn about that before you apply and also it's good to know that the people that you're talking to take an interest in your work um, so if they're not asking questions about you and wanting to know more about your interests um, then that's also a good sign uh, whether you want to be on that course or not um, a careers overview, uh, just a quick uh, sort of like snapshot of maybe where you will actually be after finishing the uh, product design course. Um, and product designers can go into many, many different areas, including user experience, user interface or service design, design consultancy, film concept artists. We had a, a, a student a few years ago from the product design course at Huddersfield who went into work for Warner Brothers, for instance. Uh, on the, in that area. Uh, consumer insight and brand strategies, strategic innovation, running your own business, freelance designers and makers, um, digital visualization, further education. And we've had um, students go and worked for large kind of companies called uh, Dyson and um, at um, McLaren, Lego, Kenwood. There's so many different options um, because the kind of skill sets that you will learn doing product design will be applicable to so many industries as you move out, move out to the real world and try and find um, a workplace that you will um, you'll love to be involved in. Um, so thanks very much for listening to um, that uh, talk. Um, I'll stop sharing my screen. Thank you.